So guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We are going to be going over the official trailer for Ark. It just got released and it looks fantastic. There is some new footage of things that we have not seen before, some interesting, crazy stuff that just looks insane from the end game, and obviously previews of the Phoenix and the Otter. Uh, so yeah, if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, hit that like button. It really does help me out. Do appreciate it. And uh, also, we're just probably going to start off by letting you guys see the full trailer if you haven't already seen it. So uh, I'll be back after this. Okay, so, what a freaking fantastic trailer, it's insane, it just looks really, really good, I cannot wait for this freaking full release update thing, it's gonna just be amazing. So yes, we're gonna go through this and kinda analyze it a little bit, talk about all the little bits, and I think we gotta talk about that first bit, that's crazy, there's some really insane stuff going on at the very start, so let's just kinda have a little look at this. So it starts off, you start off in like this big room thing, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but... On the left and the right, on the left you have what looks to be a snowy mountain, which sure it could just be a mountain, but on the right you have the Broodmother Arena, at least it looks like it. So I'm willing to bet on the left that that is the Megapithecus Arena. So wherever we are right now, whoever's living here, whoever owns whatever this is, is watching every single thing that goes on in the Ark, because those are the arenas, like why would they be there? They're not located here, so... I don't know, like, <laughs> this could be some crazy conspiracy stuff, but I'm willing to bet that there's somebody in here, or, like, beings that are, like, watching our human characters, like, progress and, like, become ultimate survivors. Also, there's some weird, strange spike things on the ground to the left and the right, not really sure what that's supposed to be. And there's obviously that strange writing that we've seen in the, uh, in the tech cave, like, kind of floating in the air there, and then there's some more further down, I think there's some more even further down there. So that looks really cool. It's got the floor of what the tech cave looks like in its beta version, I believe, uh, with the blue. So then next we get this like image of this control panel in what looks to be, honestly, I feel like this is an alien spaceship. So this is a control panel. There's like a little chest there to the right. And there's a little module with the same writing that we've seen before. And then there's some sort of like big console that like, I guess is the main console. And then another small console to the left with what looks to be DNA. Uh, on it and then in the in the background there you can see there's like a ghost uh, Dunkleosteus so I'm willing to bet that that's maybe just some sort of like simulation of what they look like so they can kind of like analyze them or something I don't even know like this stuff is crazy um, and then obviously the room just looks amazing with that blue as well and then we cut to another scene here where you can see that is the earth that's like not the Ark Earth, that is the Earth, and that like little part right down there on the bottom looks to be Australia, so I think whatever they're doing, they're watching us. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're abducting us from Earth and like putting us into this like crazy world where we have to tame dinosaurs and become ultimate survivors, but there's a giant freaking hologram of Earth, so I, I don't know, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> and then more kind of of the same environment. And then we get this, this is freaking insane. Have you guys watched like freaking the Phantom Menace? You remember that part with the with the Droidica where they where they like roll in and then they just like open up and they pull out their like weapons and stuff and get ready for like battle stance? These are basically Arc Droidica. <laughs> it looks insane. Like they've got little weapons on the side. It's kind of hard to see what they are to be honest. The little weapons, but um, I think they've got like four legs. I believe you can kind of see that there's another two in the background there. Uh, so. 
these are probably some sort of like guards or like um security patrol inside of this whatever this might be it might be an alien spaceship might be a new planet like i honestly have no idea what do you guys think about all this but uh yeah so these are like some sort of guards or something <laughs> it looks insane and then i think we cut away from all the tech stuff yeah we cut into the overworld there and uh obviously that's right beside the redwood uh, and right beside the volcano Pretty freaking cool, nice uh, cinematic shots, and then we cut into the Redwoods. Uh, there's some Redwood base uh, being attacked there, and then there's a Titanosaurus, and kind of just standard stuff that we've seen before. Then we cut down to what looks to be the southern part of the, the wait, it looks like to be the southeast, I think. Um, and then there's a bunch of like mutated dinos, like you can see, like there's a big RG there. Maybe it's not mutated, it might be colored. And there's like a big base and there's like a little battle going on just kind of showing off a bunch of the stuff and then we see some unicorns here like running along uh a kind of a catwalk i guess and then you can kind of see all the lights and stuff it's very colorful very very cinematic and then we cut to the i think this is the cavern of lost hope um this is one of the underwater caves uh, as you can see there's like an underwater base there a shark enters and uh i think we cut away from that to a bunch of sea creatures that are like floating through the water heading into war or something they've got a bunch of riders there's like eels pretty much every single sea creature i think is here um and then we cut to another battle which is a tech-based battle um one of the snowy mountains and there's like a bionic giga there bionic giga costume obviously there's a tech rex right there there's like all this stuff you can see a tech tapajara in the background there and it's just oh and we can also see the bionic uh quetzal in the background there too do you guys see that on the left you can just see its head really cool some awesome stuff going on here and then we cut to just a bunch of like tech people running through just kind of standard stuff that we've seen before and then we cut to this this is amazing this is a little clip of like a guy with a tech shield and a tech sword running at somebody and then he does like that's probably supposed to be like the dash thing um with the tech shield you can actually completely like uh what is it like block out all of the bullets and also uh reflect some of them as well back to the uh back to the person like it's kind of insane you can kind of like run at somebody if they're shooting at you their bullets could fly back and hit them which is just crazy looking and then also he's got his tech uh, sword which is glowing as well it looks really cool and he does a uh, big slash with that and then we cut to a bunch of creatures wearing the bionic skins which i've showed off before uh these are gonna be for anybody who pre-orders the game or anybody who owns it before release um and then we're, we're probably gonna get those somehow i don't know how they're gonna do it uh, and then we obviously have like just a volcano with a bunch of these bionic dinos and then we cut to this This is the otter. It looks freaking cool. It's sitting on his shoulder and it's kind of sits across like a little bit of a scarf Like I think I don't know they're much bigger than the Jaboa, but uh, I gotta say they're they're a little bit cuter than the Jaboa So it sits on your shoulder like that kind of wraps itself around you can throw it into the water and as we know with the otter uh, if you guys didn't watch the otter dossier video basically what it does is it can kill fish and collect silica pearls and has a rare chance of getting black pearls for you so obviously it comes up it presents a silica pearl to its owner very very awesome <laughs> just like the big smile on its face looks amazing and then we go to this this is the freaking phoenix there is a giant fireball when it appears, I assume it's appearing or else this is its teeming uh, effect or something, but there's a giant fireball like with a bit of a like a, a spin kind of like a fire going around it and then it just like bursts into a phoenix and he looks freaking amazing, look at this thing, it's got like like cyan on it which I really like, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of cyan, I think it's an amazing color, it's got red feet, it's got like the orange wings, it's got like yellow tips on the wings, um it's got like orange on its body as well and its face looks really cool so this is the phoenix it's got like this uh, this glow of fire around it its tail looks amazing all in all this creature just looks fantastic i think visually this is probably one of the best uh creatures they've ever done because like i mean look at this thing oh my god i'm just i'm nerding out over, over this phoenix thing because i'm really excited but uh they've actually also announced that the phoenix will now be rideable um obviously they've heard the community's feedback and they've taken it to heart and i really like fair to them you know fair play to them they they actually gave us a rideable phoenix because we kind of we we asked for it essentially um so it's probably maybe it's not gonna be as powerful as it was supposed to be uh because they'll probably give it like crappy stamina or something but it's gonna still be able to cook meat for you it's still gonna be able to uh cook metal for you and everything it looks amazing and also uh like i just i just gotta mention that this is probably one of the first things i want to tame because i mean like look at this thing it just 
I don't even know. It just looks insane. I can't wait for it. And that is probably only going to be available on Scorched. Uh, they haven't said whether or not it's going to be on the on the desert part of Ragnarok. We can hope that it might be, but I wouldn't really hold your hopes up too much because, I mean, they're probably only going to make it a Scorched, uh, a scorched creature. So we'll see, we'll definitely see, but it looks amazing. Can't wait for that. And then we just get a couple shots of uh, people going through caves, just kind of showing off like the exploring aspect of the game. And then we just see like an RG flying over like what is supposed to be like a little town, which by the way, I mean, those buildings look really cool. Now, Jeremy tweeted out saying that there was like some sort of secret or something in the trailer. I've been analyzing it, but I can't spot it. Like, I don't know what it is. Now, unless he's like kind of trolling a little bit, he's saying like, oh, there's a big secret and it's that obvious thing at the very start. Uh, we'll wait and see. But uh, I can't, I didn't spot anything else in here. Did you guys spot anything? Let me know down below. Um, it might've been like a tech saddle on the background or something. I'll have another look, but honestly, I did not see anything like that. So that is the full trailer for ARK. It is coming out on Tuesday, uh, the 29th of this month for Xbox, PS4, and obviously it's Steam as well. So you're going to be able to buy it for $60 slash euro slash currency. Um, <laughs> now, like, obviously that price is, like, quite high, but at the same time, most people already own the game anyway, so, I mean, it's not really going to matter too much. And eventually, hopefully, they're going to allow those collector's editions with all those amazing little perks, like the, the dossier book and the... Um, was it again the map of the island hopefully they make all those uh, available to purchase even though you already own the game because personally i'd love to go out and just buy one of the console things just to have all the other stuff i don't really want the game i already own the game but like i want all those other things as well so maybe i will do that we'll see <laughs> but uh yes anyway guys that is it for today if you guys enjoy this video go ahead and hit that like button i've got plenty other videos on arc and also i'm going to be covering all of this immediately when it comes out uh, so stick around, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. You'll be notified of all the brand new videos that will be coming out. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.